Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. I'm very happy to show you today how to program one of these MSP430 microcontrollers from Texas Instruments. So for all of you who are new in this um, whole microcontroller programming thing, um, of course I can tell you that this is a very important uh, issue and knowing how to program a microcontroller or a device like this can help you uh, build all sorts of devices uh, for yourself and um, this of course opens up the path for um, all sorts of opportunities. So I'm gonna guide you step by step um, while I explain to you a short piece of code that I wrote and I'm gonna explain each instruction line and basically we're gonna have a hello world program and this hello world uh, piece of code will make some LEDs blink here on the um, uh, launch pad. Of course, um, like I said in the beginning, this opens up the possibilities then and you can connect some external LEDs there or you can connect some relays uh, externally to those pins. But for the beginning, let's see how we can manage to um, light up some LEDs, blink some LEDs on the output. The first line you're gonna write is uh, this include type of microcontroller and this type of microcontroller is a MSP 430G 2553 then um, the second um, thing you need to write is all the definitions and to make it easier I defined um, bit 6 as the G LED this this is um, a short for the green LED and bit the bit 0 would be my red LED I don't know if you can see it here but there are two LEDs and if you look up uh, the inscriptions on the um, launch pad here on this Texas Instruments la launch pad um, you will see that um, P um, 1.0 so port 1 bit 0 is basically connected to the first LED and um, bit 6 is assigned to uh, the other LED on the motherboard these LEDs here are having some jumpers and if you disconnect these jumpers then the LEDs won't uh, be connected anymore instead you can um, use the um, external pins to connect to some external device the um, other um, line you need to know is um, the definition of your variables and in my case here I, I wanted to define three integer variables these integer variables for those of you who know they uh, consist of uh, two um, bytes basically so they are two byte variable then I'm defining two functions I have um, I want to have two delay uh, functions right here a short one and a long one um, and I'm gonna show you later what I'm gonna do with them basically I need to uh, send the um, command to that output pin to be turned on and then I need to have a, a short delay uh, and to keep it on and afterwards I'm gonna turn the uh, pin for the LED off and I'm gonna apply the same delay um, one more time just to keep it off for a short period of time and um, having these sequences um, uh, 
um, repeated uh, will create the effect of blinking on the LED and here is where the main program starts okay the first line into the main program would be to um, disable the watchdog timer this watchdog timer basically creates a window uh, if you have the watchdog timer active this will prevent your uh, microcontroller or your microprocessor from uh, freezing or latching into some weird state or into some weird instruction basically if the watchdog timer sees is sees that um, uh, nothing is moving there it applies a hardware reset to the microprocessor unit uh, but to simplify things to simplify the things here uh, we're gonna disable this, this watchdog timer just uh, for the beginning to make it simple and to disable this um, you just need to assign a certain value to this watchdog timer control register and this value will be composed of these two bits by the way the um, source code um, is accessible in the description below and there will be some links there uh, that will lead you to some other page if you're interested in learning more about this um, programming um, thing then um, you need to set the internal oscillator this chip um, has the possibility of attaching an external oscillator but like almost every other type of microcontroller on the market nowadays it also has an internal oscillator and to be able to set this you basically have to configure some other registers one of them would be this one dc um, control and the other one would be the bcs control one okay so you assign this 16 megahertz uh, value to both of them and this will set the internal oscillator of the microcontroller to 16 megahertz then you need for the following part to configure the uh, ports of the microcontroller you have MSPs um, like this exactly the same time ex exactly the same type with uh, two or three output ports um, and you will need to um, configure each of these ports to have uh, inputs um, or outputs defined there so in order to configure them you basically need to set these control registers the p1 um, there and the p2 um, direction this is basically a control register filled with zero and ones and each individual bit from this byte register uh, is uh, assigned to um, one of the um, one of the pins on the um, uh, port of the microcontroller basically if you set um, the um, bits inside these control registers to be ones um, you turn the output ports into um, outputs and if you um, if you change them to zeros these ports will become inputs okay so if you decide that you want to have them as inputs uh, later on you start defining them as whatever input you want to have for instance um, analog to digital converters or uh, plain digital inputs or something like that. I also uh, set my 
output ports to be zero and to be loaded with this zero value because I don't want them to generate a very um, short glitch there if they happen to be um, a different value like um, I don't know it happened to uh, they happen to load a strange value and afterwards I, I configured them as outputs and only um, after this um, instruction I cleared them um, off then um, this will result in having some spikes there on the output ports and it's better if you want to set them as outputs just to clear them first um, I don't remember having severe problems uh, by not doing so but just as a record um, I'm telling you these things and now the main repeating loop of the program is this tiny bit here and what I do I basically um, assign to the P1 out so basically to the P1 output port I assign um, the value of this um, red LED and the value of this red LED is basically the uh, predefined um, bit in our case it's bit 0 and if I load this value into this um, output port register I will make sure that uh, that pin is enabled and I will see my um, red LED turning on on the output as I said in the beginning of this video I'm applying a delay um, instruction afterwards and I have these delay instructions uh, defined here so basically um, it's a um, repeated subtraction of this predefined uh, value of this delay variable and um, I do this uh, multiple times here so I have a pre-assigned value of this um, second variable I defined and um, I do this small delay loop multiple times into this large delay loop to obtain a larger period of time here and afterwards I'm clearing this bit um, and I'm applying the delay again like I said you can copy paste the code um, just by taking it from the description below and let us see how it's running I'm compiling the code and writing it to the microcontroller right now and this is how the um, IAR embedded workbench is working um, you have a set of buttons here and in order to uh, initiate the debugger and to make the code run on the microcontroller you just press this go button and here you go we have our LED blinking there now if I defined two LEDs here it's enough for me to um, play with this option here and just to replace this uh, label here with um, the G LED value and when I'm running this code now I have the green LED blinking there so I really hope you enjoyed my video stay tuned for more videos like this and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course um, I'm mentioning it again don't forget to comment below in the comment section until next time see you